Okay, so I believe that I am being seen on the other side. Um, I have some notes that I would like to follow in starting off this video so I can stay within the time constraint because I have another appointment, but I want to jump on with you. So first of all, I'd like to say hi and that this video is going to be covering the ABCs of health and wellness. I am putting together a video series and I'm taking bits and pieces of the program to put into tips and strategies for you to help you to incorporate um, healthy lifestyles and tips for stepping into your dazzling health during this new decade. Um, if we haven't connected before, my name is Beverly. I'm a health and wellness coach. I um, specialize in working with women to help them to lose weight, to get them to learn healthy eating habits, and also to balance their lifestyles and step into dousing health. This is a program designed for women specifically, but I do work with other clients. So let's get started. I would love to connect with you through our little community. So if you can look in the comment box and let me know where you're coming from. Um, also share a heart or a like. So I keep going, I need the motivation. I appreciate having you here with me. So let me take a couple minutes and cover some of the um, tips and strategies. I have three and a bonus, I think I'll talk about a bonus. But I want to not overwhelm you, but give you enough information to get you started. Um, I like to work with people who are just incorporating this change because it is a an intention and it's challenging to start a program that's six weeks, you know, a year, some of them are, and to get the momentum you need from the beginning. So I'm the person that will get you out the gate, set up that practice that will help you be successful in your long-term goals. So the Tips and strategies are going to be covered from in alphabetical order. So today I will be covering A. So A for the ABCs of health and wellness stands for action. So no matter what your goal is for this new decade that we're in, you have to have action to pull off whatever that accomplish will, will be on the end. So the action for this particular series, we're going to talk about getting into a cycle of moving, some momentum, some synergy, so you can start developing a pattern, which ends up being a habit that develops success for you and your health and wellness. So the first one I wanted to talk about is like, okay, so what were your health and wellness objectives for this new decade? If you would take a moment, drop that down in the comments, and I'll even share mine, it was to, um, get myself back on track with my consistency in working out and also maybe tightening in some um, practices of cleansing because um, over the holidays, you know, you had little extra foods that you normally don't have during, throughout the year. Um, for me, it was always some kind of social. They have um, beverages, some of them, you know, sugary. I'm, try not to do the sugar, but during the holidays, you just say, okay, I'm just going to go with it and have some fun and enjoy the memory. But I'm working on that reset. So if you would let me know your comments, that is mine. Just tighten up things for this new decade because I don't want to be derailed. You have to start with little baby steps because if you find that you got a little situation and you don't address it, it becomes something that's just totally out of control. So, um, so if you would share those, I will go back to the comments, take a look at those, and hopefully we'll be all on the same page and moving forward with the tips and strategies. Okay, so the first tip I wanted to share with you is if you think about moving, most people think like, oh, I'm going to start this program. It's going to be an hour. I'm going to be in a gym or in some type of um, workout facility or group. If that works for you, fantastic. Um, that used to be my schedule, it hasn't happened for quite a while. I'm traveling internationally a lot more than I used to. Um, finding time to work out an hour and a half to start my day, that's just not a part of my schedule right now. So I start with 
incremental workouts. So spl splitting them up. And there is um, scientific studies that have shown that this makes a difference. So if you can't do the entire package at one time, start where you can. Um, an example would be if you can start by just doing 10 minutes of walking, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes midday and 10 minutes in the evening. That's 30 minutes. That's a great start. And you can do that by walking your dog. Um, if you're working in an office environment, getting away from your desk and walking to the other side of the building, walking out of the building, around the building, if that's a possibility, but just start. And if you would take those 10 minutes, you would notice that it has totally changed the energy of what you were in at the moment. So it's just fantastic for your health it's fantastic for your mindset and it gives you clarity and you come back with the um, impetus to just step back in and charge along instead of like oh my god i'm just drained but i have to keep going just take that break it makes a big difference in moving you know with incremental positive changes for um exercise and your wellness okay um the second one is if you're in a place where you can grab a buddy, all the better. When I used to do my walks, I love nature walks. I used to get up early in the morning with a friend of mine and we would walk for an hour, an hour and a half and it would be amazing. It's like when I come back, the clarity, the sense of peace, the sense of just love for life, it's, it's, it's there when you get out in nature. So if you can find a buddy, to have you committed to doing this, that makes it better because the two of you are taking care of yourself and that reverberates out to the people in your lives. Like it just starts with one spark and it adds on momentum. It adds on de definitive changes that you can see that impact so many people because they've watched you make that change. So grab a buddy, that's like the best thing possible. I miss my buddy but I still have to do what I do with my schedule the way it is. And from time to time, we still get together, but just start. And if you have a partner, two is better than one. Um, the next one is, I am in a metropolitan city and we have a metro system. I would commute for like an hour easily. And once you get to your final station, usually your building is not too far, you know, within a block. Um, one of the things that I would do on days that were really nice is I, I would get off on a stop, you know, a couple of stations before. And I would walk the rest of the blocks just because it's a beautiful day. I can get some extra exercise in. And I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to hit the day. You know, so if, if you have that opportunity and you're in a city where it's difficult for you to maybe go to the gym in the morning because your schedule's so early or you get home so late, start, start to incorporate that. That's a good way to add some extra steps and also some clarity before you make it into the office. Um, the second one I would say in the scope of commuting, if, if you're driving, and after a point I did end up driving, if you could park, we had like parking spots that we can use. And sometimes the parking spots closer to the front were gone, but you can find some in the middle section, but the ones at the farthest end of the parking lot, nobody was parking there, only people that got there really late. I would make a habit of parking at the end of the parking lot because that would give me some extra steps. And I have been sitting in this car for, you know, an hour and something. So I just need to get some movement. So whenever you possibly can, park farthest away from your destination. Um, that's the same thing for people who go shopping. If you're, you know, picking up groceries or running errands and you have to run, park at the end of the parking lot at those extra steps. They make a big difference. And they also will get you to realize what an impact these little changes will do. People kind of do it for convenience to park up closer, but start thinking a little differently because you want to change where you are and that change comes about by doing something different that you haven't done before okay so if you were to incorporate that i think you will see a big benefit to it um the last tip that i would share is i am a health and wellness coach i love everything about health and wellness i have been active 
cognizant of my eating habits from the earliest point. I mean, as a young child, my parents would say I was the odd one out. I wouldn't eat what everybody was eating and didn't know what it was coming from. So I think it was just downloaded in me coming into um, life here. But um, exercise has, has been a big component and I love to exercise for, um, you know, getting your heart rate up, purging toxins out of your body, and, and you have to do a really intense workout. And I know this is not for everybody getting started, but that's the goal that you should strive for. So one of the things that I have committed to just about everywhere I have lived is to have a coach, have a personal trainer, have someone who is in the facility of this place where you work out, who is a professional, who knows how to get you to the goal that you're looking for, how to assess your workouts, and to ensure that you don't injure yourself or end up in a situation where you've been, you know, strained and have to work on getting that muscle where it's uh, soothed and then you can come back. So um, I used to work out with my trainer several days a week, but my schedules changed and I have a standing appointment on the weekend. And before my day gets crazy, I go see my trainer and my trainer will give me a thorough full body workout every weekend, every weekend. So if I did my little bit during the week, during my walks, I have um, weights, a uh, little small gym in my house. I always try to do some things in my home, but it's not to the same degree that my trainer is going to, he's going to make sure I get, you know, my lower body, my upper body, I get my arms, I get my, he will cover everything. So that's where, I try to make sure if I haven't did enough for what I need as a person where I am at my stage, that he will make sure that I've covered that gap. And that's where I am taking my week schedule, plugging it into a weekend for the gaps in my trainer, make sure that I've gotten everything I need. So. When I'm trying to open a jar, that's one of the big things that people have, like when they open jars, like, oh, I can't open jars. Like he has exercises so I can keep those muscles and um, tendons and everything like very tight and um, the strength to be able to do it. And that's one of the big tests. Um, I challenge myself all the time. I'm not a bodybuilder, not like that, but I do make sure that I'm strong. And when you get um, jars, let's say you buy a jar of pickles and you try to open and you can't and you're beating, keep working, trying to develop that strength to open those tops because that's going to keep your muscles um, very strong and capable of functioning over the years because if you don't use it, you lose it. So those are my tips and strategies for the A, which is action. I'd love to hear your takeaways from the information that I've shared. Um, I'd like to do a request for you. If you would, go to my Facebook page, and I'd love to have you be a part of my community. We have some people in there who have done some amazing things. Um, a couple of people that I've worked with have lost over 50 pounds individually. So this is a community where you can share and also encourage each other. The next thing I would offer to you is to visit my website, which is beverlyhillscoaching.com, and I offer a newsletter. So just sign up and you can stay plugged in. If you can't catch me on the videos or be online all the time, the newsletter will just drop into your box. I had a really great one um, that came out a couple days ago. I have people been commenting about that. It's really good. And the last one I would ask you to do, um, when time permits and you're ready to get the ball rolling, and get into a space of I'm committed to move into this next level. I offer a one-on-one -on -one counseling session, complimentary, so you can figure out where you are. And if working to, with me would be where you can reach your goals. And I would love to hear from you. I am passionate about this and I know that I can help you meet, reach your goals. So with that, I will say goodbye, namaste, and all the best. Mwah.